in the sepia-toned corridors of cinematic history. One name echoes like a distant melody, Mabel Normand. Perhaps in the recesses of your memory, there's a flicker, an image, a moment when the magic of Mabel graced your awareness. It could have been the spirited energy she infused into the silent frames or the mischievous sparkle in her eyes that left an indelible mark on the reels of your recollection. Picture it, a bygone era, a grainy screen, and there she was, Mabel Normand, a cinematic luminary who waltzed through the frames with an effortless charm that transcended the limitations of silent storytelling. If you close your eyes, can you summon the echoes of laughter from her slapstick comedies? Or perhaps there's a tinge of nostalgia attached to the warmth of her on-screen presence that lingered in the collective memory of audiences past. Now, let's embark on a journey into the fascinating tapestry of Mabel Norman's life, unraveling threads of her remarkable career, quirks that made her an enigma, and anecdotes that paint a vivid portrait of the woman behind the celluloid facade. From the dazzling lights of the Keystone Studios to the intriguing chapters of her personal life, we delve into the nuanced layers of Mabel's world. As we traverse through the corridors of time, join me in rediscovering the allure of Mabel Normand, a name that resonates through the ages, transcending the boundaries of black and white cinema. It's a journey that promises revelations and, undoubtedly, a rekindling of fond memories associated with this cinematic luminary. And now, let the curtain rise on the stage of random facts, where the spotlight illuminates the lesser-known facets of Mabel's life, adding hues to the portrait we thought we knew. Get ready for a cinematic odyssey through the life and times of Mabel Normand, a tale waiting to be unveiled. Mabel Normand, a keystone in cinematic history in the annals of early cinema, Mabel Normand emerges not merely as a star but as a pivotal force, shaping the destinies of iconic figures like Charlie Chaplin. According to the accounts of Chaplin, Max Sennett, and Minta Durfee, it was Mabel who held the key to Chaplin's presence at Keystone Studios. Chaplin, Sennett, and Durfee, in their written testimonies, converge on the assertion that Mabel Norman played a decisive role in securing Chaplin's contract with Keystone and ensuring his continued presence. Their unanimity underscores Mabel's influence in recognizing Chaplin's talent, a foresight that would forever alter the course of cinematic history. Notably, Mabel Normand is credited with more than just an eye for talent. She is believed to be the inaugural actress to receive a pie in the face on film, a slapstick moment delivered by Ford Sterling. This incident, capturing the essence of early silent film humor, became a hallmark of the Keystone brand and cemented Mabel's imprint as a trailblazer in cinematic comedy. However, Mabel's contributions extended beyond her on-screen presence. By 1912, she had already ventured into scriptwriting for her own films, a remarkable feat in an era when women's roles in the film industry were largely confined to acting. By 1914, Mabel had taken the director's chair, solidifying her status as one of the first women to write and direct films, shattering industry norms and paving the way for future generations of female filmmakers. In the fast-evolving landscape of early cinema, Mabel Norman stood as a linchpin, influencing not just the trajectory of individual careers, but reshaping the contours of the industry itself. Her keen eye for talent, groundbreaking on-screen moments, and pioneering role behind the camera mark her as a luminary in the silent film era. Mabel Norman's legacy endures as a testament to her multifaceted contributions, forever etched in the reels of cinematic history. Mabel Norman, a trailblazing figure in early Hollywood, found her final resting place at Calvary Cemetery in Boyle Heights, California, USA. This cemetery, with its historical significance, became the silent witness to her legacy. In 1930, when Mabel Norman passed away, her funeral drew an impressive list of honorary pallbearers, a testament to her impact on the film industry. Among them were luminaries such as D.W., Griffith, Max Sennett, Charles Chaplin, Sam Goldwyn, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, Sid Grauman, Ford Sterling, Paul Byrne, and Eugene Pallette. Their presence reflected the respect and admiration Norman commanded in the cinematic realm. Steven Silverman's 1999 book, Funny Ladies, delves into the life of Mabel Norman, showcasing her contribution to the world of entertainment. 
The profile underscores her significance and the challenges she faced, offering readers a glimpse into the life of one of Hollywood's early female pioneers. Mabel Norman's journey, as documented in reputable sources like IMDb, is a fascinating exploration of the early days of cinema and the women who shaped its course. From her influential colleagues to her final resting place, Norman's story is a vital chapter in the history of the silver screen. Mabel Norman, alongside Charlie Chaplin and Marie Dressler, played a pivotal role in the inaugural comedic feature film, Tilly's Punctured Romance. This early cinematic venture marked a significant milestone in the history of comedy on the big screen. Norman's contribution to the film, sharing the spotlight with industry heavyweights like Chaplin and Dressler, solidified her position as one of the stars of the emerging genre. In 1915, Mabel Norman received recognition from the audience when she was named favorite female comedian in a variety readers poll. This accolade underscored her popularity and the impact she had on the entertainment landscape of the time. Norman's comedic prowess and on-screen charisma resonated with audiences, earning her a place of distinction among her peers. The iconic Keystone Cops, synonymous with early slapstick comedy, made their debut in Bangville Police, a Mabel Norman short film. Not only did she share the screen with these legendary characters, but Norman also played the girl tied to the railroad tracks an enduring image that became emblematic of silent films' dramatic and comedic stylings. Mabel Norman's contributions to the world of entertainment extend beyond mere performances. She played a pivotal role in shaping the comedic landscape during the formative years of cinema. From sharing the screen with comedic legends to earning accolades from the audience, Norman left an indelible mark on the history of film. Mabel Norman, renowned for her contributions to early silent cinema, played a pivotal role in Keystone comedies. Dubbed Keystone Mabel on promotional posters, she left an indelible mark on the burgeoning film industry. Her presence and comedic talent were pivotal in shaping the slapstick genre. One intriguing facet of Norman's legacy extends to the Broadway musical Mac and Mabel. Bernadette Peters portrayed Mabel Norman in this production, featuring a book by Michael Stewart in music, lyrics by Jerry Herman. The musical delves into the complex relationship between Max Sennett, a film director, and Mabel Norman, capturing the essence of the early days of Hollywood. However, it's important to note a poignant twist in the narrative. Stevie Nicks, in the 1980s, penned a song titled Mabel Norman, drawing inspiration from the alleged circumstances of Norman's demise due to cocaine. The Mabel Norman estate, contradicting this claim, maintains that Norman never indulged in cocaine or any other drugs. This dissonance adds a layer of mystery to the legacy of a silent film star. In conclusion, Mabel Norman's multifaceted legacy intertwines with Broadway productions and controversies surrounding her personal life. From the iconic Keystone comedies to the Broadway stage and even influencing musical compositions, Norman's impact on the entertainment industry endures, marked by a complex blend of humor and controversy. As we bid adieu to this journey through the illustrious career of Mabel Norman, take a moment to let the echoes of silent laughter and vivacious charm linger in your thoughts. Like a flickering reel of memories, Norman's performances transcend time leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of entertainment. Perhaps you find yourself transported to the uproarious scenes of the Keystone Studios, or maybe it's the subtle nuances in her expressions that resonate with your own untold stories. In the tapestry of cinema, Mabel Norman wove threads of authenticity and charisma that continue to captivate hearts. As we wrap this cinematic odyssey, we invite you, dear reader, to reflect on your personal connection with Mabel Norman. What scenes have etched themselves into your memory? What emotions stir as her name is uttered? Share your favorite memories, the moments that made you laugh or sigh, and let the timeless magic of Norman's performances unite us in a celebration of cinematic brilliance. Your thoughts are the echoes of an era gone by, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Let your voice join the chorus of those who appreciate the artistry of Mabel Norman. In sharing, we honor not just a silent film icon, but an architect of joy whose influence transcends the boundaries of time. 
As the curtains draw close on this retrospective, we extend our deepest gratitude for your time and interest in revisiting the golden age of cinema with us. Mabel Norman's impact on entertainment is a living testament to the ability of art to traverse generations, evoking emotions that defy the ticking of the clock. Thank you for being a part of this journey of voyage through laughter, tears, and the enduring legacy of Mabel Norman.